Some of you may remember a few videos back where I got a 2001 Ford Ranger that a really good friend of mine just gave me. He owns a junkyard and has all these vehicles and this one just happens to run. So he gave it to me and it had been sitting up around four years and right now it's got a very very rough auto i think i know what the problem is but i want to prove it today i'm going to hook up my keen bowling k7 scan tool and we're going to look at the fuel trims and then see if we can get to the bottom of why this thing has such a rough auto it runs smooth at higher autos, but at, at auto, it's really bad. So let me go ahead. I got my dongle here for my K7, my King Bowling K7. Going to get that in the truck, and we're going to look at some fuel trims and some other data. All right, got our dongle in place. All right, turn that dinger off. Go ahead and boot this K7 up. King Bowling. All right, here we go. So what I want to do is go into scan. Actually, I want to go into OBD. Let's just do that. All right, so what I want to do is go ahead and hit my screen recorder. And I want to record all this to where you can actually see it better on the video. All right, so let's take a look at this long-term fuel trim right here. We are definitely running lean. Now let me put my foot into it. Let's watch this drop down some all right both my oxygen sensors are working so I am in closed loop now all right now look at this when I put my foot in it I dropped all the way from 25 percent down to around seven eight now that is indicative of a vacuum leak if you notice the short term it's not near as bad that's because the long term will reset the short term to where it will try to run closer to zero but the long term is way out of whack right now i'm at a high idle i'm actually at uh that's 2000 rpm but as soon as i let off watch it jump up all right that tells me all i need to know we need to look for a vacuum leak all right so here's the smoke machine i'm using this is actually made by Auto Line Pro, and I purchased this off of Amazon. It's like one of the cheapest smoke machines I have found. It's like, I think I paid $69 for that, and it's an old paint can is what they're making these out of. Now, I've used this one before, and it's already got some oil inside of it. It's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take this clamp off right here, and this is where we're going to put the smoke in. I got this air filter cover and the mass airflow sensor off of here, as you see. So I bought these also. They're also made by AutoLine, and they have different sizes, depending on where you want to go in when you smoke. So all I'm going to do is just push this into here. Push it in tight to make a good seal. I'm going to take the end of my hose. That's where the smoke will be coming out. First, let me plug this up so here's the cable that comes with this little smoke machine it's got an on, on off switch this screws into the actual machine itself and of course this goes to the battery that's what's going to heat the oil up then i've got to hook my air compressor hose to it it's got a regulator which is going to regulate the pressure down to one psi i'll be right back once i get all this set up all right so i got it all hooked up here got my air we go ahead and hit this switch, turn this on, and just wait for some smoke to come out of here. There it is. You can see all the smoke coming out. Doesn't take long. Push this in here. Now I'm seeing a little smoke coming around this auto air controller, but that's really not uncommon. It does have a bypass vent right here, plus it's not energized. Now, where else am I seeing smoke? Oh, goodness. Right there. That's an old vacuum line. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't noticed that. That thing is rotten. Smoke just pouring out of it. Oh, yeah, it's split on the bottom. No wonder. 
Well, that explains a rough auto for sure. Let me see if I can see smoke anywhere else. It's about it. Yeah, that's coming out of that vent. I think when it's actually operational, it seals that off. But I'm going to go ahead and start with that known vacuum hose, get, get that replaced. Then we'll do this again. Or we'll actually check fuel trims and see if that corrects the problem. See if it'll smooth this idle out. All right, I went ahead and cut some links that I needed here. That replaces this old one here. Now look at this stuff. Talk about rotten. That's the splits. Ain't no wonder I had such a rough idle. And my fuel trim just out of whack. And then I cut a short one to replace this one. This will go on here like this. That's 5 16 silicon hose, which should hold up better than this old rubber. Now there was another line that was directly under this one where it goes in is directly under here. I checked it. Somebody's replaced it. It's in too good of shape. It's not near as bad as what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop this on. Then we're going to see if it corrected anything. All right, so I just hooked up to my scan tool. My fuel trims, long-term fuel trims, are definitely going down. It takes a little while before they actually bottom out. Everything's got to kind of relearn and do its thing, but it has definitely dropped. It's within the allowable 10%, and uh, there is no wonder with that massive vacuum leak. It's, it's still a little bit of an erratic idle, but way better than what it was. Got the fuel trims down from that leak, but I still got something else going on. So when I dig into it further, do a little research, then I'll let you know what I did find. I want this thing to auto smooth the silt. Now I haven't tuned this car up yet. It could just need some plugs and plug wires. Keep in mind this thing set up for four years. So what's the old saying? It needs it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that soon. And that could just be the last little a piece to this puzzle here but uh definitely made some improvements hope you got something from it if you suspect you got any kind of vacuum leak then fuel trims will tell you everything that is unmetered air that's not going through the mass airflow sensor and it just does wonky things with the computer because the o2 sensors are picking up on this extra air computer doesn't know where it's coming from because it's not getting the input back from the mass airflow sensor so it just goes to a Adjusting, trying to add more fuel, add more fuel to get it out of that lean condition. And uh, eventually your short term will level off if the long term kind of resets or whatever. But it's never going to run right like that. And as you can see, a very rough auto, but uh, the auto is much, much better. And, but I'm going to look into some other things also. And also that smoke coming around that auto air control. From what I know, it's, it's not unusual to see some smoke coming by that, but is it excessive? That itself could be creating a problem too. Just let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. I'm Russ Jones with Skill Savvy DIY.